Uh, this is a short tutorial on LODs. At first I will explain how LODs work and then I will show you how to make your own LODs for your models. So LODs basically decrease the model quality when the object is further from the player. As you can see as I go further some of the details on the scorpion disappear. And as I go even further more details disappear. And even further the whole model can disappear. Of course you're not going to use such uh, extreme LODs in your map. I'm just uh, using this to explain how it works. So this is the same model in 3ds Max. Uh, this is the super high quality LOD. Super high quality LOD must have all the markers and the other LODs don't need any markers. Um, but uh, all LODs must have the same nodes and uh, each region needs its own LODs. Uh, for example if you don't add LODs for threads, which uh, which have their own uh, region, as you can see, thread, uh, then it will not change at any distance. And if I have LODs for the hull, then the hull, only the hull will change, and the threads will stay the same. Uh, let me hide these markers. I used uh, this selection thing before, but layers are much better. I just didn't have time to prepare for this tutorial. Okay, so this is the super high quality model. I just hide it. As you can see, the threads disappeared because it, they only are on the super high quality mod. Now, this one doesn't have any threads. This is the medium quality load, LOD. As you can see, it's a lot more optimized, even if in game it doesn't really make any difference. And let me just hide it. This is the super low LOD, which is uh, a lot, a lot more optimized, and the difference is very visible. Also, if you have permutations, for example, damage or Blur, then you need LODs for them as well. For example, this is the damage super high quality LOD. It's also quite detailed. And this is medium quality LOD for the damage scorpion, which is a little bit more optimized. And as you can see, I don't have a super low quality LOD for the damage uh, permutation. This is because the damage permutation will use the same LOD as the base uh, super low quality LOD. So if you don't make uh, if you don't make uh, LOD for each permutation, then they will use this the one that exists. In this case, uh, base LOD super low. Alright, now I will show you how to create your own LODs. So this is my super high quality model. Uh, let me just take some part. Now, at first you may want to remove some of the smaller details. Uh, before that you might want to select all the vertices and weld them. Uh, let's auto smooth it for now and you can remove smaller details by simply deleting them. Uh, let's just leave it like that for now. Uh, now the very useful modifier is Multires. It automatically optimizes your model at whatever quality you want. So just move this down until it's until it's looking right. Uh, for now, I'll just leave it at that. As you can see, it reduces 
the quality from 100% to 33% and it doesn't really change the appearance. At the longer distance it will look exactly the same. And let's just collapse this. After, after you're doing that uh, you might want to redo your smoothing so it looks pretty much the same as the super high quality LOD. And just do the same thing for all of the parts you want. And if for example you don't want to do all this for threads you can just delete them completely. Because we're doing on LOD only for a uh, base uh, region. Now in order to export the LODs correctly you will need to name them uh, properly. Uh, this is my base uh, permutation and this is damage permutation and blur permutation. The uh, console symbol, I don't know what it's called, uh, means that the permutation will not be cho chosen automatically so that the destroyed scorpions don't spawn and such. And as you can see the uh, the name of the LOD goes after the name of permutation, so base super low, base super high, base medium, and so on. So it's really simple, just export it like that and compile your model. Uh, one thing that is worth mentioning that you cannot use LODs for first person weapon models. If you want to use uh, the same weapon model for first and third person, then you will not be able to have LODs, otherwise the weapon will not render in the first person. Uh, this is the Scorpion model, uh, and these are detail cutoffs. You are going to be using these to change uh, the distance at which the model changes LODs. So let's see if I lower this one to... Uh, let's see, 400, 400, uh, medium detail to... 200 and this, if I leave it at 0, uh, the lowest value, then the model will never disappear, but if I make it above 0, then uh, when the model is very far away, then it will be, then it will disappear. So let's see, let's see this and... Yeah, this is something, this is better now, uh, but the change in the models is still visible, so you might want to decrease this a little more. And as you can see, I have three LODs here. You don't need all five, you can have just two or three. I have uh, super high, medium and low. So let's try these values. Yeah, it's still visible, but it's not that bad. You can just keep uh, ch keep lowering these values until the changes are not visible, or you can use a tutorial from Moses. I think I will put it in the description, uh, which shows you how to accurately uh, set these cutoffs.